And the latest violence across Israel and Gaza has brought to light decades of complex issues and tensions that have marred the region. In 1994, the Palestinian Authority was established to govern West Bank and the Gaza Strip. But for years, after the Palestinian movement for liberation continued to simmer, leading the armed struggles is the Iran-backed Islamic resistance movement, well, more popularly known as the Hamas group. Let's now take a look back at some of the worst attacks that have made it one of the worst volatile regions in West Asia. Now, in the year 2005, Israel's defense forces had withdrawn from Gaza and transferred control to the Palestinian Authority. Israel withdrew from the region 38 years after seizing control from Egypt. But in June 2007, the Hamas militant organization revolted against the Fatah forces under the Palestinian Authority and then took control of Gaza. We are talking about year 2007. And December 2008, Israeli forces launched a long-drawn military offensive which lasted for 22 days. And the conflict was triggered after Palestinians fired rockets targeted at the southern Israeli town of Sedroth. 1,400 Palestinians and 13 Israelis were killed in the violence that then transpired. Meanwhile, in 2014, another conflict broke out when the Hamas group kidnapped and killed three Israeli teenagers. And the incident triggered a seven-week-long war between Israeli forces and the Hamas militants. Over 2,000 Palestinians were killed in Gaza back then. And in May 2021, weeks of tensions during the holy month of Ramadan took a violent turn yet again. Scores of Palestinians clashed with Israeli security forces inside the compound of the historic Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. Reports reveal that more than 250 Palestinians were killed and nearly 2,000 others were wounded. 13 Israelis were also killed in the 10-day fighting that we're talking about here.